From the fast action of the trading pit to the power brokers making the headlines, you'll hear it all on the Traders Network Show with your host, Michael Yorba. All right. Michael interviews the front page titans about the latest in trading tools and market trends in stocks, commodities, bonds, forex, and derivatives. The Traders Network helps you stay ahead of the curve and delivers tomorrow's trade today. Now, here's your host, Michael Yorba. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. Broadcasting to you live on the Dallas 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios. And worldwide through YorbaMedia.com. I'm joined on the show with Lou Rossi, Chairman CEO, Station Digital Corporation, on the uh, OTC uh, QB, D, or excuse me, SDIG is the symbol. You're going to want to know this uh, symbol and this man. All right, uh, Ro- Lou, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Hi, hi. Thank you for having me. All right, my pleasure. You have got uh, just a huge list of accomplishments to your credit. I mean, amazing. Uh, let, let's get a little background on, on you before we get into what Station Digital Corporation does and how you're going to completely break the mold on how people listen to music. Sure, sure. Well, you know, I was very lucky. I had just, you know, you're, you get lucky when you get born, right? You just, you come of age at the right time. And I was very lucky that I graduated college in 92 with a BS in physics from Florida State, where I was able to um, work in the student campus entertainment um, department. So I got to do a lot of great things around music and comedy and films. I, I learned a great deal the whole time getting a physics degree. And when I graduated, my father said, you know, you're either going to go to grad school or you're going to have to get a job. And he's like, you got to look at this industry the internetworking industry. The internet was really unknown at that time, but it, there was something there, and there was just a huge demand for corporations to have individuals that knew about interconnecting uh, network computer systems and certainly later on became the internet. So I was really lucky to just come out at the right time, have a great technical degree, and I just always had a passion for music and film, and I uh, was able to really launched myself into a technical career and um, had a minor in business as well. I wanted to start my own business, so started uh, several companies, consulting, um, working in uh, training, working around a company called Cisco, C-I-S-C-O, or C-S-C-O on the NASDAQ, as many of them probably know. So I, I got to really grow um, with that organization, and oh, after 20 years of you know, being in that industry, written a couple of books, done a lot of training and uh, consulting, this opportunity kind of fell in my lap through a friend that had this brilliant idea to start a, a media streaming company that was going to be unique. We were going to really be able to change um, and take advantage, I should say, of the market transitions that were occurring in not just the audio and the music streaming side, but in the video side, the way users consume music and video. And to do this, of course, required someone with a great technical background, but also it really gave me a chance to kind of bring together two huge passions that I had, um, you know, both on the technical side and on the, um, on the music side. And then, of course, being in the business uh, world has really helped as well. So it was, just, it was just a huge opportunity for me and I was really excited to bring together all of these great things that I had been able to work with. Um, and then my passion for, for music and, and film. and uh, It was just really a great opportunity. So I, I feel very lucky. Dave, well, you not only worked with Cisco. I mean, you had to, you worked in the entertainment industry some, with some pretty big names. Get, throw, throw a couple of those out. Yeah, I, I mean, I got very lucky, like I said, at, at a young age at, at Florida State and, and working in the uh, in the student campus entertainment, I got to run the homecoming shows. So I, I actually, I had booked Dennis Miller and Chris Rock. Uh, Chris Rock had canceled on me at the last minute. That's when I learned about show business. <laughs> Welcome to I, show business. I literally had to uh, to go to William Morris and beg them, hey, look, I got homecoming. It was literally a Friday night show, and they canceled on Thursday. So William Morris had to bring in, um, I believe it was Kevin Nealon and Julia Sweeney and Bobcat Goldthwait, who was a huge, uh, I mean, just – of the nicest man, very, very funny man. Uh, and they all came in and did a fantastic show for us. But yeah, I, I've, I've been, uh, <laughs> 
those were some those were some good times. Yeah. And now, you know, today I get to work with you know great people. As a matter of fact, uh, one of our lead investors in the company, uh, Michael Klofine, in his company Steel Pier Capital, he's got a lot of media experience. He's got a film coming out um, tri- on Tribeca actually called Dixieland, and we're really excited about that um, project as well. We're we're hoping that we're going to be able to work that into our video product that we got coming out later on this year. Um, and then he's got that whole premiere coming up at Tribeca and Station Digital will be sponsoring the after party. So we're really um, excited. Like I said, you know, it just, it's great to be able to bring together all of these passions um, into this company. Uh, I'm sure it is. Now, I, I wanted to, to, because I saw something in your bio that I, I wanted to bring out at age 10. And we're, I want to get it, we're going to get into the company, but at age 10, you were programming your, your first Atari 400 who, and your second generation programmer. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. My father, um, who was much like myself, he, his degree was in mathematics. When he graduated, it was the same thing. He's like, "What am I going to do?" And he actually went to work on Wall Street as a, a programmer. And so, when later on, when he had kids, he'd, he'd moved uh, to upstate New York, and he'd become a teacher to spend more time with the family. When the personal computers had started to come out. He's like, well, the, you know, the best time to learn is when you're really young. So he bought me and my brother uh, an Atari 400. Now, much to our dismay, because, of course, we wanted the Atari uh, gaming system. And my father was like, no, you don't need a gaming system. You need to learn how to work in a computer because computers are the future. You know, almost like the, the graduate when they said, oh, plastics, plastics, plastics. My father was computers, computers, computers. So he, he brought us an Atari 400. And he would not let us play any games until we could do these basic programs. He would give us tasks. Okay, if you guys write a a program that does this, then I'll buy you a game. And so we would literally, I mean, it it was amazing how how much motivation that is for a 10-year-old, right? Yeah. (laughs) So he he motivated us. uh, tremendously by just saying, write these programs. And so, yeah, I was, um, I was programming uh, at 10. And then when our schools got computers, it was nice because, you know, back in those days, we, me and my brother were pretty, pretty much the only ones that knew how to work with them. So by the time you know, we graduated college, uh, both my brother and myself have had so much experience with computers, it was very easy to, um, for us to get jobs. I bet it was. All right, now March 20th, you just launched your second generation music discovery platform. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we're, we're really excited. We, um, last year, we had our first generation music discovery platform. And music discovery means that we have a system whereby users can come to our applications or to our website, put in an artist, put in a song, um, pick a decade, pick a genre, and we're going to automatically build a playlist, a radio station based on those parameters. So last year, we experimented with it. We got over 2.4 million uh, listeners. We averaged 190,000 monthly active users, and we played around with how are we going to make money. We uh, experimented with the different advertising platforms, and then we set about to correct all of the things that go wrong in an alpha situation. So we set about building our V2 platform, which just um, start launched on March 20th. Um, a much better product than what we had last year. We've fixed a lot of the uh, bugs and things that we'd run into and a system that is very, very scalable because the the numbers right now are, are huge for music streaming services. Like I said before, you know, we're seeing a market transition and um, you know, John Chambers is a, a big uh, role model of mine, uh, CEO of Cisco Systems, and followed him for you know 20 years. And he always says that you know we have to take advantage of market transitions. And so we saw this market transition from digital downloads to music streaming services. You know, people I think are getting tired of of having to buy um, music from. You know, wherever they're getting iTunes or whatever the case may be, then downloading and having to manage the files. And it's funny because I remember you know, watching these market transitions going from albums. Uh, never saw 8-tracks really take off. I, I don't remember 8-tracks ever being the, the main thing. It was always albums, and then went from albums into cassette tapes, from cassette tapes to DVDs, and then from DVDs to, da- or, excuse me, CDs to downloads. And now what we're seeing is the transition from downloads into 
according to music streaming services and subscription services. So right now, our V2 product that launched on March 20th is a music discovery product like a radio station. But there's also a need for those individuals that, you know what, I want to listen, I want to make my own playlist, and I want to pick what music I'm going to listen to, when I'm going to listen to it. And those are your subscription-based services where they just, users want to pay a monthly fee, get access to a huge library of music that they like, and then build their own playlist, listen to it when they want, in the order that they want, the exact song that they want. We will be launching a similar service later on this summer as well. So we want to cater to all of the needs of the consumers right now. And you know, certainly the market is going to be able to support uh, a multiple uh, number of players in this space. As you can see, I don't know if you guys follow the RIIAA um, music industry um, uh, industry, uh, excuse me, association, but they, you know, they show the numbers every year, and you just see just an exponential growth in music streaming services. It does. All right, we need to take a break now, but on the other side of the break, I want to talk about uh, the 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 loyalty rewards program because I see that as really breaking the mold right there. All right. Great. We'll be right back with Lou Rossi on the other side of this break with uh, Chairman CEO Station Digital Corporation symbol S D I G. Money Sense has moved. Jim LeCamp here. And I'm Pat Riddell, and we've got a new time right here on KFXR. Noon to one, we'll talk about markets, investments, current information that you need to know. Everything from personal finance to investments to money to markets to policies. It's a midday macro lunch you won't want to miss right here from noon to one. That's Money Sense for your midday market lunch right here on KFXR 1190. Or listen to the podcast on money-sense.com. Money-sense.com. This is Dr. James, CEO and founder of Diamond Physicians, a direct medicine practice that combines exemplary customer service, state-of-the-art medical technology, compassionate physicians, and 24-hour medical access to revitalize healthcare delivery in America. Diamond is searching for investors to join the solution for rising healthcare costs. We have reached a paradigm shift in the healthcare market. Now is the time to invest in Diamond, a brand that has gained national attention by delivering affordable concierge medicine. Visit diamondphysicians.com backslash franchise to learn more about franchise opportunities. Are you a man living with prostate enlargement? Urinating more often? Waking up to use the bathroom? A drop in intimacy? Call us now and we'll send you a free bottle of Super Beta Prostate. It's guaranteed to reduce urges to urinate and support intimacy. It's free. Just pay shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-458-7435. For prostate problems, men trust Super Beta Prostate. It's one of the few products that I've taken that does what it says it's going to do, and Super Beta Prostate was real. I remember after I started taking it, I had my first full night of sleep. I sleep better at night. I, I don't have to get up all night long like I used to. And, you know, my, my girlfriend really enjoys it, too. So let's just leave it at that, I guess. <laughs> get your free bottle of Super Beta Prostate before this offer is gone forever. Just call 1-800-458-7435. That's 1-800-458-7435. 1-800-458-7435. When it comes to Allied Siding and Windows, no one installs more replacement HP Siding than DFW. Allied will help you choose from over 1,100 design and color combinations to give your dream home look. And their professionally trained installation crews pay attention to every little detail so your property is cleaner than when they found it. Call to action. The first five callers right now will get 100 feet of seamless gutters for free with your April HP purchase. So call Allied Siding and Windows now at 972-888-9988. That's 972-888-9988. Allied Siding and Windows. Affordable, local, reliable. Have you heard? Proactive Plus is faster and better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. With Proactive Plus, your acne can heal and you can help prevent new breakouts. Don't miss this limited time offer. We're going to let a million people try Proactive Plus risk-free and get two free gifts and also receive free shipping when you call right now. Call 800-489-0567. That's 800-489-0567. BTJ Consulting was founded specifically to consult with accredited investors on how best to manage their oil and gas investments. 
The emphasis is not only on direct participation in drilling projects, but includes opportunities in the purchasing of oil rigs, service and equipment companies, real estate, and or the purchase of royalty interest through lease pooling. This strategy further mitigates risk and spreads their clients' investments over the entire sector whenever possible. For more information, call 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. That's 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. And tell them Yorva sent you. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host, broadcasting to you live on the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios and worldwide through yorbamedia.com. All right, I'm joined on the show with Lou Rossi, Chairman CEO, Station Digital Corporation, OTC QB, symbol is CDIG. All right, Lou, when we left, we were talking about um, what we were doing with the uh, with the new programming. And but we never get how I mean, you have a massive library, international and domestic, right? Yeah. So when you start to talk about how we're going to differentiate ourselves in, right. a, in a marketplace, that has got a, a growing number of players. Um, it seems like more coming out every day, you know, how are we going to, to differentiate ourselves? And right now we have three big major differences. Number one is we do have a huge library of songs. We have over 30 million songs available worldwide. Over 18 million plus of those are available here in the U.S. That's, that's number one. Number two, we're going to have fewer commercial interruptions. We operate a very efficiently, which means that we don't have to generate some the revenue of some of our competitors that have been and haven't been quite as thrifty. And really, the early adopters had to go through a, a very expensive experimental process. We have not had to do that. And we've got some other things to make us more efficient so that we don't need to have uh, so many commercial interruptions. But our biggest differentiator is our reward system. So what we're going to do is we're going to give reward points for every user, for every minute that they listen, um, when they share songs with their friends, we will give them points for essentially helping get the word out about Station Digital. And then they can take these reward points and come to our e-commerce platform and literally purchase physical goods. Now, you were saying to me that they have, you have a massive library of things that they can buy. I mean, like 50 million items or something of that nature? Yes. We're, we're estimating there's going to be somewhere around 50 million different products that people are going to be able to purchase. We're, we're obviously not looking to become the next Amazon. We don't want to build an e-commerce platform that is, is very expensive and in a whole other business. Just ask Jeff Bezos over at Amazon. What we're looking to do is we will be uh, announcing a partnership. We will be using another uh, company that will become our e-commerce platform and will link in. So we're not reinventing the wheel. We're not burning our shareholders with you know the, the cost of development of a whole e-commerce system. What we're going to do is we're going to work with a partner that already has uh, this system in place. So we're really excited about that. We think it will be a huge uh, boost to our membership because users, you know, seriously, if I have to choose between which one I'm going to listen to, well, this guy has a bigger you know, music song base, and they're going to pay me to listen, essentially, by giving me my reward points so I can go out and I can buy these physical and digital goods. Well, what the heck? I'll listen to these guys. So that's kind of what the, the theory is behind you know, the reward system. And we've seen that our loyalty systems have worked very well in, in several different industries. So we're really excited about the fact that that is going to be a major differentiation for us. Well, that's not your only differentiator uh, because you also are, are working on social integration features. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the, of course, I mean, how many of us are, are not on either Facebook or Pinterest or look at Instagram? And I mean, when you look at the demographics, you look at the millennials, you look at the tweens, um, everybody has got Facebook and Instagram and, and they, they, that's how they communicate with one another and they share um, you know, what they're doing. And we want them to be able to share what they're doing with Station Digital, what music they're listening to, how they're listening to it. I don't know if you remember, but when I was a kid, Kid, we used to make mixtapes, um, and you would give that to your friends or your girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever the case may be. And I mean, that was a big thing. But what a pain in the neck it was. I mean, remember you have to have listen to the radio, find a song, hit record, or have the the um, 
dual cassette decks so you could build them. I mean, it was such a pain in the neck. And so with the social features and the product that we're going to be rolling out later this summer, we're going to be able to make that very easy for users to kind of share what their music likes and dislikes and comments and how they're, they're using that music um, to, and share it with their friends. It doesn't end there because now, uh, aside from that, you also have another uh, potential revenue stream here about advertising videos on demand. Where are you going with that? Well, what we're, we're going to be launching later this year as well is we have a video service, um, a video on demand service that will be both advertising based and subscription based. So if you just, you don't want to pay for anything, you can come, you can watch um, videos, we'll have TV and movies, we've got a, a host of uh, television and, and movies that um, that I'm very impressed with. Um, you know, the studios have been great to work with. They see the potential of over-the-top content delivery, which is a fancy way of us saying that we're going to stream video music over the Internet. We call it OTT. That's it, It's a thing that we do to make us sound smarter than we really Right, we say OTT, and people go, "Oh, wow, he's really smart." No, all I'm <laughs> saying is we're going to stream video uh, over the internet, and the studios have really made a, a wide range of their catalogs available uh, to us. And so we'll be launching that in an advertising-based mode, so that you can go. But there's going to be commercials. Me personally, I don't like commercials so much, so I would pay for the subscription-based. Um, and the subscription-based is just going to remove the commercials, and it's going to give us a little bit wider range of content because some studios and some movies, you're just not allowed to insert advertising. So that, those, that content will only be available to those people that pay for the subscription. So when you take the video on demand, either ad supported or subscription based, you take the music, which is very similar. We'll have a premium subscription service that will allow you to do the on demand music, like I was talking about earlier, mm -hmm. you know, being able to build your own playlist. You couple those together along with the e-commerce platform, we really have a nice, um, niche and a way to capture more of the market um, than some of our competitors. What is this cable in the cloud product that you're going to bring out later in the year? So the, the last product that we'll be introducing is a cable in the cloud product. So right now, if you want to get cable, you want to watch traditional TV and flip through the channels, you've got to go and to Comcast or AT&T, Verizon, whatever the case may be in your local area, and you got to get a cable box and hook that up and put it next to every television. With our Cable in the Cloud product, we're literally taking the cable box and we're putting it into the cloud. So right now, we've we just kind of nicknamed it the Cable in the Cloud product, but the Cable in the Cloud product is going to allow you to have traditional television. You'll be able to flip through the channels just like you would normally. So it's... um. We think it's going to be very, very popular. Um, people are just getting sick and tired of the, uh, you know, the whole cable debate. As a matter of fact, one out of every five cable subscribers today isn't even subscribing to cable. They're, they're just getting a high-speed Internet service. Not to mention, that's, that doesn't include those people that are just canceling their cable subscriptions altogether, but leaving their high-speed Internet services because they're moving to OTT services like Netflix, like Hulu. Um, we are going to be one of those services, but we're going to offer it in both a video on demand and in a traditional delivery method where you can go and watch your favorite TV channels and then flip through the channels like you would any other time. You know, when you bundle all of these packages together, it seems to me that you're a little ahead of the curve on the rest of the competition. Talk to us about that. Well, certainly. I mean, we feel like this is going to be another major differentiation. First, you know, the reward points, that's going to build loyalty and keep you know, people coming back using the services that they like. But having all of these services together under a single um, a single account, right? Think about it like this. You know, right now I'm I'm a huge OTT user, as I mentioned. I'm I'm crazy about media, so I have a Hulu subscription, I have a Netflix subscription, I have a Spotify premium subscription, and I put my credit card all over, and I have all these different accounts. The 
credit card that I use oftentimes gets hacked because I travel quite a bit. I don't know how they do it, but it seems like every month I got fraudulent charges. I got to cancel my credit card. Well, guess what? Now I got to go back to Netflix, go back to Hulu. I got to go back to all these people, change all my credit cards. So bringing all this together really does make it convenient for a lot of the users that are using multiple services. And what we're seeing, if you, the latest Nielsen report had come out, and it, it mentioned that you know, 30% of households are using these subscription-based video on-demand access. The music streaming services is up substantially, so a good percentage, uh, 7.7 million uh, people are using subscription-based um, music services. So there's this huge market in both, and we're bringing those both together to um, – to just make it easier for the consumer. And then tacking on the rewards program, uh, we feel we're going to be very, very successful and be able to capture a uh, fantastic market share. Now, are we going to have quite the, the content base as a, as a Netflix? No, we're not going to be spending billions of dollars in content, but we're going to have good content. We're going to have original content as well. We're going to have exclusive content. I, I can't buy a Mad Men today, but we will have some really great content, some, some very recognizable um, television series and movies, as well as some new programming uh, that we're going to be bringing in that will be exclusive. So oh. we think we'll be able to really capture some market share. Amazing. I think that this is going to be the new wave. All right, real quick, uh, contact information for anybody that needs to, uh, to, to see this, experience it. Yeah, it's, it's very simple. Simply go to stationdigital.com. There are links there to our Droid and our iOS application. You can also look for us. We'll be um, launching on the Amazon Fire, the Roku, on several other platforms here in the next 90 days. And then if you have any questions, just once again, go to stationdigital.com. All of our contact info is, is up there. And then, of course, you can go to any finance site and look up S D I G Station Digital. S is in Sam Digital D I G. All right, perfect. All right, thanks so much, Lou. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Lou Rossi, Chairman, CEO, of Station Digital Corporation, OTC QB S D I G. Get it before it goes away. All right, on the other side of this break, we're going to come right back, and we're going to be bringing in Kyle Noonan right here in our studio. And we're going to be talking about free-range concepts, local restaurants, breaking the mold when it comes to success. We'll be right back. July LED headlights.